Joel Embiid and the very hot Philadelphia 76ers got company in town. Jason Tatum and the Boston Celtics are back. Embiid and Philly already got the best of the Celtics pretty much at full strength. Can they do it again with the Celtics down a couple men? Tatum and Drew Holiday said, mm, not so fast. Tatum a three. And then how about a couple of big time plays from Drew Holiday on the defensive end? How about Holiday chipping in 18 points and 10 rebounds? Boston up double digits early. We're in a second, and Tatum showing you that he got a lot of motion. 41-27, Celtics up. But here comes Philadelphia. Tobias Harris inside. One of my favorite guys in the league, DeAnthony Melton, taking advantage of the opportunity. And then, you know, this dude has been on one all season long. It's Tyrese Maxey for three. And just like that, as we go into the locker room, Philadelphia comes back to take the one-point lead. Third quarter. The big fella's like, okay, I got enough help. Now it's time for me to take over. Joel Embiid, all a part of his 20.9 rebound effort. Tatum ain't an MVP yet, but he keep playing like this. He's going to get one soon enough. He nails the three. In the fourth, Jaden Springer, shout out my ball for life with the steal and the reverse. Philly down just by four. The problem was the Celtics moved the ball magnificently in the fourth quarter, and that was all she wrote pretty much. Derek White nails the three. Maxi with one of his own. He had 20 points. When it's winning time, more Celtics ball movement. White another top of the key three. And then White looking and finding Tatum, who nails the three. You know, there was no Kristaps Porzingis, no Jalen Brown for Boston in this one. If you are a Sixers fan, you got to be very concerned that the Celtics went in your house, walked in, and took over your trap. 117-107, Tatum had 29 points. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing. Why build theirs when I believe I can build my own? You've already done it, or I wouldn't be here. I'm already the only elite sports and music journalist in the game today. My goal is simple, to be the best there's ever been. So, make sure you subscribe and follow the journey. It truly means everything to me. I tell stories, I talk music, I cover sports, I am culture. I am Pharaoh.